Welcome to my debut. I don't have much planned for today. I'm just gonna do a small slideshow to introduce myself and who I am. All right, so let's get to know Lure Chan. Lure, let's get to know Lure. Who is Lure? Lure is an anglerfish, Lure is me. I do not talk in the third person, so I'm gonna stop saying Lure is this, Lure is that. I don't have much to say other than that. <laughs> now, where have I been? Originally, I wanted to debut on 14th. I wanted to debut on Valentine's Day. Why? I don't know. I just thought that would have been cute. But unfortunately, that did not happen. That did not happen. Why did that not happen? Where have I been? The answer is very clear. I have been depressed. Onward. My lore. What is my lore? My lore? Well, I already said I'm an anglerfish. I already said that this little buddy of mine here, his name is Iris. Yes, and I did say he, and the reason why I said he, this isn't necessarily lore, it's more like real anglerfish facts. Apparently, male anglerfishes will attach themselves to female anglerfishes. Female anglerfishes? <laughs> and they'll become their gonads. So I guess you could call him a gonad. <laughs> That's what you could consider Iris, he's a gonad. Well, you guys are glonads. My lore, my VTuber lore, my backstory, my tragic backstory. Because we all gotta have a tragic backstory. My backstory is simple. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have a backstory. So I decided just to make a new VTuber, a new character, without a backstory. So that way I could just be myself. And then I'll come up with a backstory later. So this is to get to know Lure. <laughs> this is to get to know Lure as a person instead of as a VTuber. So let's start off with something simple. My likes versus my dislikes. I like to draw. I also hate drawing. That's not on my dislikes, but I do hate drawing. It's a love-hate relationship. I don't like to read. I'm trying to get better at reading. Like I used to read like crazy. Fan fictions, I could read all the time. I could go to town reading some fan fictions. But if you put me in a school, tell me to read a book, I'm gonna be like, uh. I like to write. I used to like to write fan fiction. I used to write a lot of fan fiction and lemon and smut. <laughs> I think we all have that cringy past of ours and I'm still living it. I dislike going outside. I'm scared of going outside. People can be scary. Animals can be scary. Animals are super cute, but if you don't know them, they're super scary. They're cute from a distance. They let my dog out and she jumped between me and the dog and saved my life. So, <gasps> yes, thank you for the head pets. So yeah, I have a fear of going outside. Not necessarily dislike, but more of a anxiety thing, which I should get over or else I can't be at a functioning adult. I love silly words. I like the word piccolo, thingamajig, hoo-ha, schnookums, basically, if it doesn't sound like it should be a word, I love it. <laughs> I personally don't like fish. I could tolerate it for a couple bites, but after that, not my not my cup of tea. Dreaming. Here, watch, let me scooch over a little bit. There we go. Dreaming. <laughs> I love to dream. Whether it's a daydream or sleep dreaming, I love to dream. Last dislike. I oh. Oh yeah. Forgot about this one. Gloop slash slime. I I wouldn't say I'm a texture person, but I'm not a big fan of slime. I actually played with my first slime ever, just like back in December. I bought my, I was like, I was like, you know what? I have to do it. I'm going to buy myself a slime. So I bought a honeycomb slime. I did not like it because it was gooey and slimy. Then I also bought bunny mummy slime and I liked that. It was described as a cloud slime and I could, that was fun. That was fun. I still have it. And really good times. Each time I touch slime, I get the urge to eat. <laughs> I actually licked the slime I bought because it's one, it smelled like honey and the other one smelled like blue slushy. So it literally says do not consume on the package. I straight up licked it multiple times. I, I can't be trusted with things that smell good. I put cereal before milk. If you put milk before cereal, I'm going to assume one of three things. Either one, you like to make your life difficult, or you like to let fate decide. Because if you put milk before your cereal, you don't get to decide how much cereal you have. 
The milk decides how much cereal you have. And lastly, if you haven't put milk before cereal, I'm going to assume you're mentally ill, like a psychopath. <laughs> and that's coming from someone who's been locked up. I put toilet paper over. Some people do it under, I put it over. If you have animals or a cat, it's just close the bathroom door and then you get to have the correct toilet paper. I think Burger King is better than McDonald's. No, don't get me wrong. Their Whoppers, I think are gross. I'm sorry, their Whoppers, they're like known for their Whopper. That's, that's a mistake, that's bad marketing. Their Whoppers are not good. I'm talking about their cheese burgers. Their cheese burgers are what are delicious, what are better than McDonald's. Hot take one, Chipotle and Taco Bell. They are mid, mid at best. They're, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying they're bad. They're not bad. They're just overhyped. Everyone's like, ooh, Chipotle this, ooh, Taco Bell that. But no, there's better, there's better American Mexican. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying they're bad. I've eaten at both of them before. And if you offer to buy me one, I will say yes, because I love food, but not a fan. Just know I'm part Italian and I know I disappoint my ancestors a lot. But pineapple belongs on pizza. Okay, if I cook an egg in the morning, just an egg, it's like a normal scrambled egg, sunny side up egg, fried egg, whatever, an egg. I'll either leave the pan on the stove or I'll put it in the sink and then say later around lunchtime or dinner time. If I come back and that pan is exactly where I left it, there's nothing on top, there's nothing else touching it, I'll reuse that same pan without cleaning it. To me, it's like, it's my pan, it's my dirt, it's my dirtiness, it's fine. It's fine, it's like when you accidentally lick your own sweat. It's fine. If you lick someone else's sweat, that's a, that's either gross or kinky, depending on who you're licking and how close your relationship is. I, I eat my food a certain way and I shared how I eat my food on my past Twitter account. And as you can see, it invokes quite a reaction. I like to skin my chicken nuggets and then I dip the pulp into the sweet and sour sauce, finish all the meat, and then I eat the crisps as chips. Quesadillas first, you gotta eat the crust of the quesadilla. So like all the part that cheese does not touch, that's the part you gotta eat. Next, you gotta eat the actual tortilla, <laughs> even if it's touching the cheese. You gotta peel your quesadilla. Lastly, you just have a ball of cheese and then you consume that. And then there you go. That's the best way to eat a quesadilla. The proper way to eat pizza. You get your slices and then you pick off your toppings. Next, you eat the cheese. And then lastly, you eat the sauce. The bread that is covered in sauce, you eat the sauce. So then you're left with just crust. What's wrong? What's with those reactions, y'all? This is how you gotta eat pizza. I eat pizza like this, I would say nine out of 10 times. The only time I would say I don't is if I'm eating a new pizza or if it's like a bad pizza. If I eat my pizza just by bite by bite, then you know I did not enjoy the pizza this is how I eat pizza that I enjoy. Pointless talents that I have. I could say the alphabet backwards. B Y X W B U T S R T T O N N L K J I H G F E B C B. But I learned it in less than a day. Yeah, not even a full day. Pointless talent. <laughs> Next pointless talent. I could roll my tongue on both the front and the back part of my mouth. It's easy. The front part you blow and the back part you suck. And you can even do it while breathing. <laughs> and that's it for my pointless talents. Dreams. My dreams. These are my dreams. My dream. One. To just be more happier. Trying to look on the positive bright side of things. Thank you for the head pecs. Um, I would like to build like a good community, a good circle of friends and stuff. I would love to try a multiplayer game because I've never played a multiplayer game before. Back when Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, back when Among Us 
was popping off, I I tried playing on my phone. The first the first lobby I got, I got imposter. I panicked and I left. I, I abandoned my imposter partner. Like as soon as I seen that red text, I was like, nope, lure has left the lobby. Charity. This is for charity. Book. Why is there a book here when I hate reading? For a long time, I've been into witchcraft slash Wicca. I think it'd be really cool if in the future that we could do spells together. That's it. That's me. That's me. That's me and 50 slides. <laughs>